If you're looking for Ultimate Team Coins, check out thefootshop.com. They will be in the description. And don't forget to use the promo code Tobias to save yourself as much money as possible. The most beast team on FIFA 15. That is the squad that we are going to be making today in this video. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, the guys over at Foothead have created a formula on FIFA 15's Ultimate Team that gives every single player in the game a beast rating. Now, the exact formula that is used by Foothead hasn't actually been told, they do like to keep it secret, but from what they have said, it does include pace, strength, and the rarity of the player on Ultimate Team. They are the three biggest factors in this secret formula when used to give a beast rating for every single player on Ultimate Team. So today, when we build this squad, we are going to be looking at the most beast players from this rating that they have created in the position in this squad. Now, I am going to leave a link in the description so you can go and check out this uh, rating and ranking system, uh, which they call the Beast Rating, for yourselves. Let me know what you think about it below. I'm pretty sure by the time we build this squad, you're all going to agree that it is pretty much spot on because the players that are in this squad, they all seem to be the most broken and OP players in this year's ultimate team. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump straight into the squad. As I said, check out the beast ratings for yourself. They will be in the description, a link to the Foothead website. And yeah, let's get into the team. Starting off the squad then, we have Roberto from Olympiacos. I'm interested to use this goalkeeper because I haven't actually used him this far on FIFA's ultimate team this year. He has a beast rating of 84, which according to this formula that has been designed and made by Foothead, he is the biggest beast goalkeeper on Ultimate Team this year. 84 beast rating. I'm interested to see how he performs online. At the left back spot then we have Alisu from Portugal. Coincidentally, he was actually one of my favourite left backs in the game last year on Ultimate Team. Just like Roberto, unfortunately I haven't got round to using him this year on FIFA 15's Ultimate Team. But he was absolutely incredible last year and he cost, just like this year, he was ridiculously cheap. And this time he has a beast rating of 89. Will he perform up to that rating online? First centre back then in this squad, we're going to go with DJ. I'm not going to try and pronounce his actual name because I'm going to absolutely butcher it. He has a beast rating of 90, which is completely understandable. Looking at the fact he's a centre back, 73 pace and 84 physical. And as I said, the formula's biggest factors are pace, strength and the rarity of the player in the game. And looking at him, I can understand that 90 rated beast number because he looks decent. Our second centre back then in this squad is Shah from Basel. Just like DJ, he has high pace, high physical stat and also has a beast rating of 90. So, so far, both my centre backs have beast ratings of 90. I'm actually really looking forward to see how these guys perform online. Finally then, to complete the defence, we have Carl Walker from Tottenham. Even though he's only 77 rated, he has a beast rating of 91. Now, if you watch my Pack to the Future series, he actually used to be in the squad. And he was absolutely incredible. So I completely understand where that 91 beast rating has come from with Carl Walker. But if you guys haven't used him, I definitely recommend using him. He's an absolutely insane right back in the game. And he is the most beast sent uh, right back, beg your pardon, on Ultimate Team, according to this formula. Moving on to the midfield then, we have Leroy Farr at the centre defensive mid spot. He does have a beast rating of 89, which again, is completely understandable. He's got 75 pace, which for a centre midfielder is decent. And he has 86 physical stat. 86 physical stat, and with the rarity of Leroy Furt on Ultimate Team, that has given him that 89 beast rating. Moving on to the left-hand side then of the pitch, we have Memphis Depay from PSV. Just like Leroy Furt, he also has a beast rating of 89. He's absolutely rapid, and when he's on the ball, his dribbling is absolutely incredible. He is an absolute monster on this year's Ultimate Team, and I probably would have guessed that he had a higher rated beast rating, ranking, whatever you want to call it, than Ronaldo, because his pace, his strength, how much he costs, and the rarity of Memphis Depay compared to Cristiano Ronaldo on Ultimate Team is going to be a lot, lot higher. And because of that, he has the highest beast rating of any left midfielder, left winger, or left forward on the game, coming in at an 89 rating. On the right-hand side, then, we have Hulk. He has a beast rating of 91, which, again, with his pace, with his shooting, with his physical of 86 and the rarity of the player of Hulk, which isn't very rare, 
He is the highest rated right midfield player on Ultimate Team with the highest beast rating coming in at a 91 rating. At the centre attacking mid spot then we do have Freddy Guarin from Inter Milan. He only has 78 shooting but if you've used this card on Ultimate Team you will know his shooting is absolutely insane and as well as that he has 85 physical. That is why he has a beast rating of 90 which is the highest two midfielders on the game Freddy Guarin and Leroy Fur. Our first striker then, you probably will have guessed it, with the highest joint beast rating in the game, we have MNEK with a beast rating of 93. I'm sure you guys, you guys have used this card on Ultimate Team. He is well known as one of the sweatiest strikers, I'd probably say ever on this game, because of his price, his pace, his strength, and his beast rating, which has been calculated by Foothead as 93. He's an absolute monster. Finally then, to complete the squad, we have no one else but Ibarbo coming in with another beast rating of 93. Those two are the two most beast strikers on Ultimate Team according to Foothead's formula that they have made. And being completely honest, I think their formula that they have made is spot on. I don't blame them for wanting to keep it secret because those are arguably the two sweatiest strikers I have ever played with on any ultimate team. Right, now we have made the most beast team on FIFA 15. We are now going to take this online and see how it performs. We are only running with 41 chemistry, but we have the most beast team on FIFA. This is going to be extremely awkward if I don't win this game. This is our opposition that we are going to be playing he has a Barbo and he has Ramos, two very, and he has Guarin in the midfield. He's going with a Colombian squad. He has two of the players that we are using in our team as well. This is going to be an interesting team. I'm looking, game, I beg your pardon. I'm looking forward to this one. Hopefully, it's raining. It's, I hate playing in the rain. Oh, he's through. It's MNEK. He's just been muscled off the ball. That was a beast. That was fucking pussy. Oh my god, he should have buried that, but he got, he absolutely got bitched. Go! Surely! Fuck, give us the lead! <laughs> He's done it! That strength from Leroy Fur. That is our centre defensive mid player getting on the score sheet. And in fairness, this has been our first major chance of this game. A great ball over the top to him. He got out muscled. He out muscled the defender again, won the ball back. On his left foot, buried it. That is 1-0 to the most beast team on FIFA 15. Happy days. Let's make it 2-0. Swing that puppy in. Oh, we should have made that too. I thought that was in. I don't know who got that. It was Leroy Fur again. We've got a corner, actually. Beautiful. No, my Roberto, you are not taking it. Let's get Freddy to whip this one in. Freddy, what are you going to do for us? What are you going to do for us? That is, that is scrappy. A few moments later. We've conceded from that counter-attack. I didn't think Ramos was going to win that header. I, why did I not think Ramos was going to win a header? Ramos wins every header. Roberto, that's pretty much been your first thing to do all game. And you, you were grounded. Your feet were not moving. Oh, we've just scored and it's offside. Oh my god, it was offside. I thought that was in. I thought we had taken the lead. It was offside. Fuck's sake. Go! Go with Barbo, use your pace and your strength. These strikers are getting out muscled a lot, considering this is the most beast team on FIFA 15. They're getting out muscled a lot. Right, that is half time, and we haven't really had too many shots on target, considering we've had two compared to our opposition's three. Considering this is meant to be the most beast team on FIFA 15, even though we only have 41 chemistry. I would have thought we would have been doing better than this. Hopefully, we can turn it on in the second half. And I want to win. Oh, what a run. What a run. Hit it. Finish it. We have actually done it. No, I don't know why. My opposition's defence just backed off a of Barbo there. He ran. He ran. He ran. Until he saw the goal. He rifled it home. He is not going to miss those. We've gone 2-1 up. I'm tempted to say undeservedly. My opposition's had a lot of chances and big bad boy Roberto in goal has actually kept us in this and now we've gone 2 one up. Well in. Alright, oh, so Barbo again. Finish that. There we are. 3-1. A Barbo is the most beast rated player according to this Foothead rating. 
And when he's doing shit like that, do you blame him? I think he's running on two chemistry, and he's still doing that kind of damage. We're three one up with 15 minutes to go. I'm spraying everywhere. Let's get more goals. Roberto saved the day. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Elisu blocked the ball from going into the back of the net. And now we're on a lovely counter, which has just fucked up because of a shite pass. It's a barber again. Look at this. Look at the strength and pace he has. I tramped it. I'm sorry. I had to tramp it. I didn't have to tramp it. I wanted to tramp it. He outmuscled so many defenders, I thought, why not? Let's get someone else on the score sheet. Freddy came running in and Guarine buried it with our 4-1 up against the 100 chemistry Colombian squad. I will take that. This is definitely the most beast team on FIFA 15. Foothead, thank you very much. Memphis on a brilliant run here. The lag, the lag. We've still managed to bury it. What the hell? I wanted to get a finesse on his right foot. It's laggy as hell. I think my opposition might quit. I think he might quit. Is he going to quit? It's very laggy. I don't even know what happened there. Let's watch the replay. I tried to skim that and it just like, kept freezing. His goalkeeper's shit. I didn't see who had in goal, but he was crap. 5-1 happy days. Shots like that. I'm gonna make you quit. Oh, I can hear him. I can actually hear him speaking. He needs, well, I could hear him speaking. He has quit. Look at that, Roberto, the most beast goalkeeper in the game according to this formula, 9.6. Ababo, the most beast striker in the game, 9.6. That was an enjoyable squad to play with. Unfortunately, guys, that is the end of the squad builder. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As I said at the beginning, I'm going to leave a link in the description to Foothead's website where it gives you all the ratings of these beast players. It gives you every single player on onto a team and it will give you their beast rating. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. But this is the most beast team on FIFA 15. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like. 3,000 likes would be absolutely insane. Let me know down there what squad would you like me to build next and I will get that done for you guys. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to us later. Take care.